Hello, this is the second part of our drawing tutorial. This is LS7. Now, we are working on editing this picture. And so far, we're going to start on the ear, coloring it. Now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to, like, um, you can't zoom in because you can't see it, but if you did see it, you would see that I'm trying to draw lines. And of course, it doesn't appear as if it's gray in that area, but that can do. Now, this won't be as um, interesting of an edit to the drawing, but it will change up the, the view of it. Right here, I'm going to work on making the eye. and that will be left for the end of the video to work on coloring the end of it and this isn't going to be using any um, colors just some um, black and white I am using a different pencil though and right here I'm drawing like lines trying to work on fur halfway done and again the camera issues where you can't see what's being drawn but if you could see you would see that I'm finishing off the head there we go a bit of a gray blur but and here I'm unsure of what to draw right here I'm working on the fur on the ear which is basically gonna be like fur coming from the inside of the ear and um popping out and then I'll do a little pattern of shading one fur gray, other white, gray, white, gray, white, gray as you can see all you gotta do is you just gotta shade it in and you have black and white There we go. Now here we're drawing a pocket. We can't draw another pocket on the other side because the bunny's in our way. So instead we'll make up for that and make a little star on the pocket. That'll be the sound of the chair. Here we're drawing the hand and a bit of the shirt. Putting lines representing the wrinkles on the paw. And then right here we're going to draw a watch. Because you got to see our time, right? Though I'm unsure if you can see the time of how small it is. But I don't have to do. Now here I'm trying to fix up the part where it looks like it's like completely boxy where the arm is completely straight. And re real life you don't have arms that are like completely straight you have to make it um, curved so you can see that it's not like it's not like your 
your arms aren't like completely drawn to be straight. Then when you're wearing a shirt, you know, that adds to it. Like the one I'm finishing off. That's just some extra stuff. Now you just got to color in the undershirt and you're good to go with that. Then just shading a bit on the fur. Then just finishing them off. Over here, we're drawing like the background V shaped almost like to show me he's in the hallway, maybe. Nothing else is gonna be added, just normal hallway look. Or like going into the infinity, you have the hallway that never ends. So here we're coloring in the eye. And we're almost there. Adding whiskers. Maybe a little mustache. Fortunately, he doesn't have a tail, but... Now, you just need a color in the shirt with some shading. Or maybe it'll be a gray shirt. It almost looks like I'm coloring at the same color as the rest of the background, but trust me, it's gray. Now what if we made more character to the bunny character? Where he's doing the exact same thing as our character. Doesn't exactly have claws though. Now, we make another one, it'll be like some Inception, where you have another character doing the exact same thing as the bunny that the fox is doing.
Alright. Now I just have to finish shading it in. Maybe a bit, add a bit of shadowing to the collar, and that should be good. Just a bit of pockets, maybe, but it looks good enough. Now, to be honest, I don't know if I should add a part three. Maybe add some drawings. Maybe add more characters. But, oh well. Thanks for watching. Have a good day or night.